Hello, I'm Dinis Demir. It's like Running Man. No, it's like like Running Man. Running Man's good. I watch that. Oh, yeah. 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 And like you wanting to be a Sierra Leonean, I am also an American. So I'm an American Sierra Leonean. Okay? I lived in the US for about 16 years. I went there to study and so, you know. Miss King, tell them where you went to oh, law school at, and that's important. Right? Tell them where? You went to law school at. Oh, I went to, oh, they just saw it. I went to UGA. Yes, go dogs. <laughs> yes, yes. Go dogs. And then I went to Georgetown in Washington. <laughs> yes. You yes. see? <laughs> so, but I had qualified as a lawyer in Sierra Leone. But when I got to the U.S., of course, my, my diploma, my law degree was not acceptable to practice. Mm. And because I wanted to understand the American law also, I decided to do a JD and I also did an LLM. Mm -hmm. So I practiced. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did an LLM in international law. Mm -hmm. So I had my I practiced in Georgia for eleven years. I had my own law office in Georgia for eleven years. What I did basically divorce, personal injury, and immigration. Mm -hmm. Then when I finished. I came back to Sierra Leone because the president invited me to be a member of the government and I was appointed deputy minister of foreign affairs. So I was there for a few years before, after the elections, I was appointed ambassador to Senegal. Anybody been to Senegal here? Yeah. Beautiful country. Yeah, so I stayed in Senegal for about four years and then I came back home. Right now, my party is not in power. Mm -hmm. You know how, how, what it's mm -hmm. like. Yeah. But it was nice staying in America. My children are there. I have two daughters. One is in Hollywood. She's a writer and a film producer. She has written two books on black people. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And she's going to do a movie too. That's the book that she wrote. Mm. The Gilded Ones. Wow. Her name is Namina Fona. Anybody heard of the name? I've heard of that book. You heard of the book, The Gilded Ones? Yes. Okay. It's a New York Times bestseller. Yes. Mm. Yeah, so she's written, it's a trilogy. She's written mm. two, and she has one more that she's working on. Nice. My second daughter is a doctor in Georgia. Mm. She's an OBGYN. Mm -hmm. So. That's my American background. Mm -hmm. So maybe we can we can have some introductions and some names. I'm mm -hmm. Michael Davu. My wife is Teacher Davu. Okay, how nice to meet you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm Jim Dean. My wife is Oprah. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. You enjoy it better when you travel as a couple, right? Mm -hmm. My name is 
Derek Forges is my wife, Alice. Okay. Okay. Here, he introduced me. Oh, he did? My name is Laverne Francois. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. I'm here. You know me now. Oh, you're not. 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 you Charles Zeta, <coughs> Asante, and my husband Jamil. Yeah. Dr. Edward Williams, physics and electrical engineer. <laughs> 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 Dr. Edward Williams, physics and electrical engineer. Yes, sir. Walter. Oh, I I mean, we can't. I don't talk about this. You don't want? We can't. We can't. We can't. We can't. Well, again, as I say, welcome. Um, how do you like it here? We love it. Yeah. Does anybody want to stay? Yes. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes. It's, it's up, it gets very hard here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But um, so does everybody here, will everybody, anybody here be waiting for your citizenship? All of us. Uh, all, all, all of us. us. Mm -hmm. Have mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. heard what? They haven't been given a date yet for the ceremony, but they did biometrics today, so ceremony oh, well, will be next week. Oh, well, as long as they've done biometrics, yeah, yeah, yeah. then ceremony's next week. we're pretty certain that you'll be giving your yeah. citizenship. Just so. don't know when yet, but it'll be, it'll be next week sometime. Okay, are you looking forward to that? Oh, well, oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Is there, do you see a basic difference between, say, and the U.S.? Yeah, of course. Absolutely. You see us, a lot of us. Ah, yes, yes. And that is what makes it welcome, because when you are here, you identify with the people. Mm -hmm. oh, does anybody want water? Yes, yes please. please. Yes, please. Miss, Miss King, you said you're going to give us um, ginger juice. You've been promising ginger juice for the past two years. You've been promising ginger juice for the past two years, but we get the water. I, I've, been, I've, been, I've been looking forward to the, your ginger juice. Next year for sure. Okay, April. Okay, April. No, but you're here till next week. Yes. Okay. Well, let's see. Okay. Thank you, Okay. Oh, you do? Yes, yes we do. Yes. Does everybody drink sugar? Sugar, sugar. Sugar. Yes. I mean, because we have been Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. yeah. <laughs> no, green leaf. Is it? Look, there's some more water here. So, where else have you been around this time? Uh, we've been to River Number Two. Uh -huh. Lester's Peak. We went to Bo, local Masama. Oh, okay. We did uh, the local historic tour of Central Freetown. Okay. Museum. Uh, where else could we go? Museum. Museum. Yeah. yeah, National Museum. Uh -huh. We're going to Waterloo tomorrow. I'm going to get them the so cassata bread. I'm going to get the cassata bread. The cassata bread. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they'll eat that for lunch, the cassata bread and meat. Or and fish. For the, for the for vegetarian, just the, just the cassata bread. Okay. Thank you, brother. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what do you want us to talk about? What, what, like we do all the time. Mm -hmm. They can ask questions, tell them yeah. their experience, you know, like any, we always do. Any questions? Yes, what is your practice here? Oh. I know you said you did a lot in the States. What's your practice here? Oh, it's basically it's general practice. Oh, general practice. Yes. Okay. I mean, divorce, okay. property. Okay. Uh, property. Mm -hmm. Do you do the state? Estate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, so let's talk property. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, take your time. In regards to um, property, um, from Daniel explaining to me, there's two ways to purchase it, mm -hmm. either privately mm -hmm. or from the municipal, from the government themselves. Mm -hmm. Is that is that so? It's not good? usual to purchase from the government because okay. most of the land is owned privately. Okay. To purchase land from the government, there is a system. Mm -hmm. You need to acquire the land uh, by lease first. Because okay. basically, before it used to be 
own land is only sold to Sierra Leoneans right. okay. because it is basically to help Sierra Leoneans purchase right. property. Right. And um, so you lease the land first, okay. you lease the land for a period of two years, and you in that two years you are expected to develop the land. Okay. After you've developed it, then you can apply to the government for freehold. You purchase right. the freehold, right. then you would have develop the land, there is a property sitting on it, they will value the property and sell the land to you. That's how you do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. That time period to purchase it privately, mm -hmm. is there an average time period that, that occurs? To, to purchase from the government? No, privately? No, privately. You, you find an agent, usually mm -hmm. you have an agent who locates the land, okay. and then you talk to the owners, and you buy the property. Right. There is a lot of pitfalls in that. Right, that's what I want to discuss. Okay, the because you see... The mm -hmm. verification of who the verification. The ownership is. Yes. is that, that, does that go through your attorneys? Uh, yes, but it's really quite difficult. Okay. Because here we register the titles. Right, mm -hmm. okay. same as you have. And when you register it, one person may have a piece of land and sell it to three or four people. Oh, wow. mm. huh? Right, but the title will show the person that has that ownership and that title is registered. Yes, but uh -huh. if, say, I have this piece of land mm -hmm. and I sell it to three or four people. Right. In Sierra Leone, the law is first in time, first in law. So if uh, I register okay. the property first, I got you. then, you know, it seems okay. as if I okay. will own the land. I got you. Okay. You see? Yes. So following coming people who buy after me mm -hmm. will have a problem because the land would already be registered in the first owner. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well then our attorney would research if there's any litigation on that land mm -hmm. currently. Mm -hmm. And if there's litigation on that land about ownership, mm -hmm. well, to me, I'm out of it. Because I, I'm not waiting in the line. I'll move on to another property. Because you have to sort it out in court. You have you to sort it home. out and yeah, it takes out time and it's expensive. That's fine. You know? I'm out of that. Okay. So usually the best way to buy private property mm -hmm. is to buy property that has already been built on. Okay. Because you know that when somebody has acquired the land and built on it, he must be pretty certain that okay. the land is clean, that there is a clear title. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So that's the problem we have. Land. Because, as you see, Freetown is a very small city. Mm -hmm. It's compressed. And you have so many people wanting to buy land. Mm -hmm. So because of that, it's not enough to go around. So that is why we have so much litigation in land. Recently, we've had a lot of real estate companies coming up, researching title. But it's still really is the um, sounding negative but that is the truth mm -hmm. it is difficult to establish title and what kind of position does the lands commission play in the verification process what kind of the, like the lands commission i'm assuming they have one yes. here where you go and verify title and the things like that mm -hmm. so like what like do they help in the verification process to to identify who owns it and they help sometimes, but uh, it's not very certain. They should have yeah. records. They have the records, but have you records. know, we are not computerized. Understand. Because we are not computerized, it's difficult to trace the type. <coughs> it is actually. Difficult. We'll work on that while we're here. You work on that? <laughs> we'll come in and computerize it. I used to have a title be, in uh, that, America. You, know, you see, that would be right. nice. That would be a nice yeah. option. Those are areas if you want to do. Microfish. If you want to, best microfish, you want to do business, give a proposal to the government, who knows? Because up to now, the land registry is not properly organized. Yep. You know? Yeah. So. You how, does it, how does it work in the country outside of Freetown? <laughs> in the country outside of Freetown, we adopted, you know, we were a colonial. Were a colonial. Then we have the British government and the Sierra Leone, the colony mm -hmm. and the central government. Mm -hmm. So land of country is to be referred to as the protectorate. Mm -hmm. And there land is owned by the family chief and the family 
So it is very difficult to purchase land because you have a system of land holding whereby the title to the land is entrusted in the chief and then you can just list the land. Okay. You can list the land from the family and do what you want to do, but it is not easily sold. Right. So That's the problem. Lease how, long, how long are the leases in like the rural areas or the, the country sites? Oh, could be 99 years. Okay. Is the chief? Yes. Uh, let me ask you another question. So, can you, um, uh, before the lease of the land, can you have a, an arrangement in the lease to renew? Most of the leases are permanently renewable. Okay. You know, but then as long as mostly up country land is used for agriculture, mm -hmm. and when one is using it for agriculture, they don't remove you really from the land, okay. and the lease rent is really not much. You know, um, who documents the the buy? Is it the same process as in the city? Well, they prepare this document that is registered at the village or where you buy the land. Okay. Is there, is there like I'm sorry? Is there an in between party that can verify the actual purchase so there won't be any discrepancies in the, uh, the purchase? Usually, with land of country, since it is held by the family. Most people know the owner by tradition, okay. you know, so. Thank you. Yes. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you have a listing of, um, of properties that are available, you know, that the government is the one that's up there doing the selling or, or for the leasing? The government would have, but as I say, we are not computerized. So it's not easy to identify. But if you find, you go to the Ministry of Life, find a competent surveyor, you can go around and they can tell you that. So this land is available. And then you take it from there. But we don't have a registry as such. I think the Ministry of Land is working on a registry of available lands right now, but they have still not completed it. So your recommendation is for us to find a replicable Realtor. Yes. Yes. And do y'all have a listing of those? They have at the ministry, but most of them are private surveyors. We do not like uh, the government surveyors work for the government, so they have like private surveyors. Would is, anybody be? Mm -hmm. Yes. Is your jurisdiction? Go to countryside, or is your jurisdiction just in your town? In my own view. Yes, oh, own as a lawyer? Yeah, as a lawyer, oh, yes. It's all over. It's all over, all, all over Sierra Leone. Yes. Okay. That's nice. Good. Thank you. <laughs> you might want to ask something else? I got a question. I got a question. Okay. <laughs> yes. So, in regards of purchasing land, are there brokers available that may have uh, parcels of land that they have negotiated with the chiefs or with certain tribes? Is not, that a better way to no, go about it? Not that I know. I think you are thinking of the American. Like listings. Huh? Like listings. You think right. of listings. Yeah, but um, like in Ghana, right, they have people that have access to land where there are go-betweens for these Chief. different sheets. Yeah. 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 So, because that way you can verify um, at least their credentials and have a little bit more each. Ease of purchase. And who's the most like notable landlord in the country? Or, or you know. the government. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The government. What about abandoned land? Like if someone buys it and they abandon it, they haven't done anything after the two year requirement and they just stop the project and they go away. What does the government do in regards to that land? Hmm. There's nothing like abandoned land. The land is owned. If it was originally government land, mm -hmm. I was given to somebody and they failed to, you know, they stopped working on it, then the land reverts to the government automatically. Okay. Are there any land taxes? Yes, but I do not know the exact. No, that's fine. So yes, what they do have. Because if you are, okay, let me, 
If you are buying land, right. usually in Freetown, mm -hmm. the tax is 10% of okay. the cost of, of the, the cost land. Of the yes. Okay. And that you pay that when they are conveying, when they are being conveying right. the property. Right, right, transferring. When you enter into the, the, into the contract, mm -hmm. you arrange, you agree on the price, mm -hmm. then you prepare the plan and everything. Mm -hmm. When once the documents are signed, you go and, and, and um, register them. Mm -hmm. At the registry, you pay the land tax, and that's 10 percent of the cost of the land. And if the taxes aren't paid, private to private transaction, does that property revert? Does the well, government no, take that that property because the taxes aren't paid? No, because no. they have to pay the tax before they register it. Oh, it's a one-time tax. Yes, it's, not a it's, it's tax. a one-time oh, tax. Oh, okay. Cool. And the tax has okay. to be paid before the property is registered. Okay. All right. And is there a public forum to get like data on number of sales in the area, transactions, yeah. sell amounts, right. things like that? Yeah. 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 They are still oh, working on it on computerization. Okay. We are far back on that. Yeah. 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 How about commercial transactions? Uh, is that any? I know it's different than residential, but how is it played out? Like if you want to buy a property that has a commercial store on it or something like that? How does that work? It's not a different. It is the same. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. the same. It's a, it is the same. Mm -hmm. You know? And the only difference is it's difficult to buy land here. The reason why we do not have uh, mortgages. Okay. okay. We don't have mortgages. Okay. So when you are buying a house, you have to buy it cash. I mean, you can go into a private arrangement with the bank, right, right. but the, the interest rates, I tell you, so to so be quite frank, they are killing. Mm -hmm. So nobody really buys a home with a mortgage in this area. It, 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 it would usually spend maybe five to six, seven years in building a house, but the beauty is when you want to build it, it is yours. Mm -hmm. You have no mortgage, no mortgage to pay. Yeah. That's okay. I'm sorry. So is the houses um, a price in um, Salon or in USD or pounds? Or do you have a law that state that it must be in the local currency? It is in the local currency, but whenever it is in an international currency, there is a stipulation that you can pay the equivalent. If you buy it in Leon, you can pay the equivalent in dollars. Okay. 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 Yeah. <coughs> do you help set up corporations here in the Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. Does the country have not for profits? Uh huh. We do. Mm -hmm. Of course. And you set you can set that up also. Yes. Well. Yes. Okay. Like my daughter has one. It's called Mama Kim Foundation. Mm -hmm. She does a lot of work with mothers, women, children, women and children, right. providing services, you know. That's nice. mm. Yes. Yeah. You know of Mama Piki? I have one. It is for, you know, there are a lot of street kids around this area. Mm -hmm. So I have an organization called Christmas for Street Kids. Mm -hmm. But you know, I only, the only thing I do is I provide, I, give them a party once a year. Okay. At Christmas time, I get at them maybe 500 to 1,000 children, cook and feed them and provide. When I go to the US, I buy toys, mm -hmm. I come here, and it's just a one-off entertainment. Right. You know, because I do not have the time to go into, you know. You. That is free time for speed kids. You know about it, uh -huh. right? I do. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm waiting to hear. Yeah. I raise funds to mm -hmm. feed them. Right. Okay. Yes. We'll get that information from you. Yeah. Do you have a business card? I do. Well, that's an old one, but you have all my information. Oh. Just one. Yeah, and this one. Put it in our group. Yes, okay. Thank you. Do they do trust here? Like um, land trust? Ha, like land trust no, or land trust land for land personal trust? trust? Yes, they, yeah, do. they do. They do, yes. Okay. 
you don't have like tax shelters and things like that. Am I thinking too American? Tax shelters. No. Tax shelters. Yeah. I don't think we do. Okay. I don't know if we do. I don't think so. Okay. But you have incentives, right? Mm -hmm. You have incentives. Tax incentives. We should, I they said that at the. Mm -hmm. We have a picture. We're gonna put it in the group, and everybody's gonna receive. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's have one if you want. Okay. Yeah, that's a, I'll take one. Oh, they don't put What are? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, you know. It's in the group. Oh, what are the uh, extradition laws of the U.S.? <laughs> what is my extradition <laughs> laws? Oh, for crimes? Is that what you're yeah, curious? I'm curious. I think that was Irish. You told me you already. Yeah, I'm watching one of the DEA. Yeah, they can extradite you. Oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't get your question. They, if you commit a crime here in Sierra Leone, they can extradite you back to the U.S. Uh, yeah. crime, not here in the U.S. Oh, if you commit a crime in the U.S. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, you send people back. I think if the government has to, I suppose it depends on the gravity of the offense. Exactly. Yes. You know that the U.S. has a long arm. Right. Yes. But, but I know they have extradition with, like the only countries that I've known in Africa are like Tanzania and there's a couple other. They don't have extradition. Tanzania doesn't. In the U.S. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. At this time. Oh, okay. Tanzania. At this time. There's a couple other countries that don't, but. Yeah. That's what I mean. Sierra Leone does. So once you buy your, your property or your land, you still have to pay property tax? Or no? Well, it's one time, right? One, one time. When you're one time. buying the property, you huh? pay tax. One. It's one time. But we have city, country, city rates. <coughs> What's Wait. that? Rates, it's a rate you pay to the city council. You still pay every it's year? Like a, yes, it's like a land tax once a year. Okay. Uh, depending on the city. Whether you own or rent? Sorry. No, only if you yeah, own. Time. It is uh, the owner who pays it. Okay. The rent, the renter does not pay. Is it all cities or just free town? It's just free town. Oh, okay. So outside yeah. they don't have the city. Well, the different municipalities may have. Yeah, owns the property. For Peter, we have like, a tax. We call it city rates. Mm -hmm. The city council comes in. No, it's based on they assess the property. Right. They assess the property. Look at it. Tell you that the property is worth this much, and then they rate the property. They tax it. If if they default on that tax, does that return that back to the city? Hmm. If they don't pay, they're threatening you that they will seize your property. Right. Okay. Yes. But I have not heard okay. of oh, that okay. being done. Okay. Because usually you try to pay your rates. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Usually you try to pay. And it is not very, very expensive. It's only of late that they hide it up. Mm. But it's not very, very expensive. Uh, are there any stipulations to uh, coastal land or? Line, uh, yes, I think it's 200, I don't quite get... It's the government, it's like, it's certain... Is it free market or is it private? <laughs> a certain percentage from the water yes, fees that, 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 that belongs to the government. To the government. I think it's 200... 80 something, I think No, more than 200 feet. That belongs to the government that you cannot build on. Oh, okay. okay. And that is to preserve tourism. And how many beaches have you been to? Three. Three. Which one? Sugarland. Oh, did you like Sugarland? It was beautiful. Yes, yeah, so it's beautiful. We just needed to clean it up a little because it was, uh, you know, a lot of debris. Yeah, and then, um, well, you see, sometimes irresponsible people they go and use these beaches. And then they don't clean it up. Yeah. Uh, no, no, they just bad. leave it like that. The land behind the beach is that that's owned by the government, though, right? It depends. Some of the coastal villages, the land is owned by the villagers who who live there. Okay. Mm. Yes. Oh, okay. So in Ghana, they have the uh, the chiefs who own the land, but then they still have the the municipal uh, the municipal man. Also, well, that, that's like us. This is the same here. Mm -hmm. Yes. You so, have if the, the chief doesn't settle your problem, you mm -hmm. go to the municipal, the municipal man here too. Mm -hmm. 
if, the, if you can't settle it with the chief. If you can't settle? Yes, with the chief, your issue. Mm -hmm. Like if you have an issue with your land or something, mm -hmm. you can't settle it with the chief, then you go to the municipal person. Mm -hmm. It's the same here? Mm. Or the chief has the final say here? It depends on where the land is situation, uh -huh. situated. If it is up country, then the chief has the final say. Okay. But if it is free town here, uh -huh. it is the center of government, the Ministry of Lands. Oh, okay. okay. Yes, there is a difference. Mm -hmm. Because by and large, most of the land up country, as I told you, is within the custody of the chief who holds the land okay. in trust for the people. Okay. Yeah. Anybody thinking of buying land? Yes. 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 Really? Yes. yes. We are hoping to get the free land that the president promised. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping to buy land before I get on the plane and go back. He said 200,000 acres. Is that what he said? Each? Oh, shit. He said, is that what he said? And you know, you know, the government, the president, may have all the good intentions. Mm -hmm. so as we all know. But maybe the public servants will frustrate that. Uh, they run after them and, you know. Mm -hmm. But government does give out land. Oh, they do already? Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. mm -hmm. They have what they call a grant. Uh -huh. Oh, land uh -huh. grants. Government land grants. Uh -huh. Yes. Say if you have a specific purpose, you want to go into a farm and you apply to the government to give you a grant of so much land. Mm -hmm. When once you've completed all the documentation, yes, the government will convey the land to you as a grant free of charge. Mm. Wow. I'm ready for that one too. Okay. Yes. I have my seeds, I'm ready. You have your seeds? I have my seeds. Please give me some. I'm developing a small farm. I give you some. <laughs> what do you need? I have 9,000 seeds. I'm bringing seeds. Of what? Different fruits and vegetables. Uh -huh. Different fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables yes. that we grow in our climate. Where yeah, you? You from? have to tell me. Um, we're from the states. We're from the U.S. I know, but, of course, but we are Georgian. I'm from Indiana. <laughs> because Georgian said, you know, we have basically the same, yeah. uh, like okay. um, in Florida. <coughs> yeah, Savannah, where you have the you know the people the who grow rice, right, the Gola people. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, I mean they were basically from Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, so. So, but they're all organic, GMO foods. They're all heirloom seeds. Well, I look forward to your identifying land and come to stay in Seattle. And me, now the crime rate in America is it's too much. Yeah, it's too much. Every day. Few people have been gone mm -hmm. And unfortunately, <coughs> it's mostly black. Us, yes. the exactly. Why? Self hate. It's a diseased Systemic. environment. <laughs> that is so sad. Systemic issues, self hate. So sad. Yeah, sad. I mean, like, I would be scared to bring up a son yes. in the US. Yeah, me too. You know, okay. Because you'll have a simple. Quarrel with a friend, you're yes. up there, uh -huh. and he draws a gun. Mm -hmm. That is really very sad. Yeah, well, from most Chicago. Crime, most too. crime is constituted uh, within the parameter of who you live close to. So oh, yeah, that's yes. the same anywhere you are. Family yeah. violence. And I think that's an excuse, but you know, we is won't it go because there. of the yeah. history? Proximity. Is it because of the history? I think it's an excuse. No, it's an excuse. No, 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 no. I'm not saying it's an excuse. But and again, the rate of incarceration to me is something that may be responsible. Because you go to most most homes. Fathers are not there. Right? Yes, exactly. Yes. Fathers are not there. The families are broken. Yeah. Yeah. So the families are broken. Mm -hmm. That's what the media says. Like, we got a lot of good fathers in the universe. No, we do, but yeah. we have some issues. I, 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 I know that. I don't know. My wife can speak for that. We got a gazillion that, broken families, whole, too, though. But on the whole. But on the whole. On the whole. They've worked a number on this on, on a whole. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, it is a very sad oh, state of affairs. Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. What about firearm here? Are you allowed to have a gun? 
you have to have a license. Mm. Okay. But we don't use that. So you don't have that many bonds. Okay. okay. But yes. a regular civilian to apply for one? If Yes. If you buy a gun, you apply for a license. But I hope they don't start applying for license. Right. Mm. You know. Too many. What if you own a gun already? If you own already, yes. you, can't you, bring can, them. you can go and apply for a gun permit and keep a gun. But you can't bring them here, though. No, of course, no. they won't allow you to pass through. No. They won't allow you to pass no. How do you get onto a plane exactly. with the Afrika? Yeah, you international get flight. You, 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 you need to pay for it. You need to pay, but I don't think you can, can you bring it internationally, though? No, no not internationally. Yeah, I don't know. No, it can. Well, good luck. Good luck, fellas. In America, when you buy a, buy a gun, it, you sign something. But unless you buy it privately, they tell you already in the, in the legalese. You cannot go outside the country no, with that firearm. Small arms. Like, there's people that get carry their guns to go hunting all the time. Yes. But, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're, you can hunt. <laughs> Y'all not talking about the hunting guns, though. Oh, I just question. I'm going to get it right around Any questions? Yeah, just use your hands, man. Do you know if they have baking soda here and peroxide? Because you can't carry that on the plane, so I was just wondering. Oh, why? Because you know, it's like I guess I guess you can check with the hospitals. Uh huh. You know, if they have peroxide or baking soda. I have, you know, see. I think they may have. They have. They have. We need some. Okay. Why you have some toothache? Yeah, well, uh, I like to brush my teeth with bacon soda. They mm -hmm. won't let me bring it on the plane. Did that for so 20 years, really? But even yeah, a like small that. tube, they won't allow you. Uh -uh. Can you catch it? I took mine to Ghana, no problem. Outside, you know, I like to wrench, so I was going to buy some here, but you know, they got all the different people in the city. Maybe it wasn't bacon soda. Dinosaur finding for you. Dinosaur. It has to be a little small bottle. Oh. Like I had a big tube. I'll put it in your chest. Yeah. Big tube of bacon soda. I took the gun. Liquid. Yeah, because if you put it right. in your checked luggage, they don't check. Yeah, the checked luggage, yeah. Right, then they can't. Yeah. Well, they have no problem. But if you put it on, especially if it's more than a certain Well, I don't want to rock that as well. Yeah. You know, in the, you know, oh, I don't know okay. how, they, how they're doing as far as baggage as far as throwing things and stuff. So I don't want the rock side, you know, to spill. Spill out. Yeah, spill out, yeah. We're in the Ziploc bag. I think the dioxide may be available at the at the drugstore. There's a drugstore up the street from the hotel. Oh, okay. Ah, the supermarket. Yeah, that's all I got. Yeah, I bought a big yeah. bottle of witch hazel. Put it in my check bag. Put it in the Ziploc bag. Okay. I have it here. Well, if you put this on a Ziploc, that's a small. No, no, no. A big regular size. Oh, okay. Yeah. Witch hazel. Yeah, I'm gonna be here for a while. So me up. Yeah. Um, I, I yes. think. I think all of us want to start a class action lawsuit against Air Senegal. Oh, pretty much. Yes, we might have to use it. You know, when, this, your, when your they retainer. started. What's your retainer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is your retainer? What is your retainer? When they started, we were so hopeful. Uh -huh. And yet you hear all oh, sorts so of stories. Wow. That's such a shame. So did they lose your luggage? Oh, Everything. They lost, they lost us. <laughs> they lost our luggage. Our luggage, three, uh, four of us lost our luggage one week. One week we had no luggage. We had to stay three days in Senegal. You want to find a lawsuit? I'll do it. Do it. <laughs> I have to get in touch with him. No, yeah, I have information. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. So did they give you the luggage eventually? Yeah, eventually we got it. They wouldn't so, even let. So you'll be suing for the inconvenience. Inconvenience, definitely. Yeah, a whole week. A whole week without your Some luggage. Of us lost a week. We were in New York still. In the days we got oh, They lost it in New York. No, we were stuck in New York for a week. Oh, oh my God. God. And that's part of your vacation. Yeah. 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 So we lost time. Some people were stuck in New York. Some people were stuck in Milan. Senegal. Was there many people? Milan people stuck? Well, our baggage was stuck. Oh, okay. When you went to Senegal, were you able to go in? Yes. Because you don't only need a visa to go into Senegal. Right, only by force because... Our, our plane wasn't ready. It kept canceling our flights. Multiple times, like five times a day. The first night, they didn't give us hotel. They kept us in there four or five hours waiting on hotel. We found them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
hell. Yes, we are ready to sue them to hell. <laughs> there was one woman, she was um, in New York, she, she collected everyone's name, phone number, and uh, email, and it was like 200 of us. And when she got on the plane and we were going to Senegal, she said, we're going to sue them to hell. She's like not playing. She wants a class action suit. That's just one flight, though. Yeah, Our that was just one that. flight. <laughs> That's not the other connecting flights. That's like sad, though, because they could have made good business. Yeah, yeah they could have made good business. They you lost, know? they lost. Everyone said they, they lost their business. They had to take the soccer team to the World Cup. Yeah, that's what we all think. Uh, okay. yeah. But even that, even that is not, no, you know. I never thought about that. Yeah, I think that's part of it. Because of those planes that they used to go back to the U.S. and <laughs> Senegal or <laughs> Qatar. Wow. So now basically all we used to have Air Africa traveling all over. Mm-hmm. But now it's just Air Senegal because even Air Nigeria, shoot, that went down long It's coming back, it's coming back. Oh, yeah, Nigeria. Coming back. Even Ghana, they used to have a good. I think they're coming back too. So, so the only consistent one is Ethiopian. They come straight here. Huh? Ethiopian does it. Oh, they don't no. come straight here. No, but I that's as far as Africa. There's no flights that come straight here from the U.S. Hey, Sky. Yep, Sky. Hey, Sky. Yeah, Sky. Because they are like, like Delta flight. No, this is Air France, but they don't come straight here from America. Madam, uh, oh, speaking okay. of um, cargo, how how what's your opinion on um, shipping companies in and out of Sierra Leone? I don't know about shipping right now. You have some ships coming from London to here, but I don't know about America. Well, not just America. The reason I ask that is say I see the brothers and sisters on the street, and pretty much you see this what? Uh, the people on the street, uh-huh. and it's almost a hundred percent of what they sell isn't local. No, yes. it's all it's Chinese. 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 So like I know them. shipping is going on. Yes, I know cargo is happening. You know, um, uh, that's why I ask you: Are you familiar with any? Uh, people forming shipping companies called they companies have mask line mm-hmm. mask line okay. and they I think they are like a broker they handle most of the shipping it really is that's what we know that mask line you know the president of Ghana just banned a lot of imports uh, from coming into Ghana to oh, help really? their economy yeah What's the foreign exchange situation like in Ghana? It's 10, like 10 to 1. No, it's, 10, it's more than that. 10, 15. It's 15 now? 15. 15. Uh-huh. It might be even more than that by now. Yeah. But it's 15. Uh-huh. And Sierra Leone now is scandalous. How much is it now? It's 18, 18 to 1 18, with the new, 18, the new dollar. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So we're, we're interested in having Sierra Leoneans produce what they need here, no matter if it's agriculture, no matter what and it that's is. What, that's and what that means, that. that's what we should do, really. Mm-hmm. Produce what you eat, mm-hmm. 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 you know? Mm-hmm. And where? Mm-hmm. Where? And we where? Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. No, 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 I mean, and our clothes, that's what I meant. Oh, yeah, and our clothes. manufacturing, mm-hmm. food production, right. everything should be done here. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We are working towards that. Okay. We are working towards that. Uh, one more question. Yes. Um, in general, with licensing, let's say if I wanted to get an aviation license, I have a small aviation company or something. Is that something that you could assist me with? Oh yes, so I just like yeah. Yeah. Okay. We could do that. Because I don't know the you know I'm from New York. I know the methodologies to get stuff there because I was born there. Mm-hmm. But here, I have no idea. Oh, you register a company. Yeah. Okay. We could do that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We go take our our, our uh, semi annual photo in front of the uh, oh, okay. building. But you see, they're they're doing some construction work. They're right in front of the building where we take our no, photo. No, they're not yet. Let's go. And we'll go, go ahead. April. 2023, we are rolling back to Sierra Leone, and word on the street, 
more than likely there will be another citizenship ceremony. So if you are eligible for citizenship in Sierra Leone, please visit donfo.africa. That's D-A-N-F-O dot Africa. Again, vi please visit donfo.africa. Even if you're not eligible for citizenship, we are still rolling to Sierra Leone next April, April of 2023. April of 2023, we are rolling back to Sierra Leone. We'll love to have you. If you guys hear the waves in the background and the sea, that's the Atlantic Ocean. I'm in Senegal right now. My hotel, the back patio is right on the water. Check this out. Dinah Samir, search for Hulu. Until next time, family, peace.